Why are you both of you? Like seriously? We here every Thursday on a Thursday, 8 p.m. Take that, take that, take that. Take that, take that, take that. Off the grid. Spoiler. Yo, these Atempos could have been better with the gray and yellow. You better run. I love gray and yellow together. My sweet little thing. All right, let's do it. Forte far. Forte far. Um, wait. Slap it over your head. What, what is going on over here? Well, you tell me. Hey, season four, episode 44. We're here every Thursday on Thursday. We had tone of my voice to my left, camp out to my right, yeah. and KB with a 23 in the middle. Well, I'm KB tired. sandwich, you heard? Four, four, four. four. We here every Thursday on a Thursday, 8 p.m. I am tone of my voice. This is K Black 2 3. <laughs> That's a camp out to the far right. I, I, I'm, I don't even. I'm appalled by what I just heard. What oh, you heard? Oh, forget it. What is it? If you ain't hear it. No, I didn't hear it. Let's not worry about it. What I said? I want to hear what it. you said, yes. Yeah, but I said it wrong, so I was like, that doesn't make KB, sense. KB, what you said? What happened? Oh. I didn't pick up on it. I said it was there. a KB sandwich, but I, you, why does it always got to be something dirty? I say that to the kids at the Who? dance studio. Who says KB's? They give each other hugs, and they're like, it's an Ava That's sandwich. That's how true it is. Anyway, uh, if you guys want to catch the Hype Report Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. Uh, most of the time. Anyway, this is the breakdown, like the two of them just said, twice. So if you didn't catch that, you weren't paying attention. Uh, we're going to kick it right off with uh, anything spectacular you guys want to talk about um, before we kick the show off that needs to be addressed prior to sneakers. You think my shirt's going to fuck up the green screen? Probably, fuck. but who cares? Fuck. Shout out to everybody. It'll be like parts of it. Word? I'll be still like... Yeah, yeah, you, parts. You're, you're mostly navy. I'll so. be like Swiss cheese. Yeah, the holes. <laughs> you see this green screen three, yeah. It's going to be a good uh, episode. Uh, no, so, so nothing. We're going to move right along. Nah, we good. Uh, kicking it off, we got a lot of shoes this weekend. Oh, Shout out to Ghost for his birthday, Mr. Kicks Connoisseur. They're, Jamal's having an event. They're having an event this Sunday in Jersey. Anybody wants to go? It's a football event. I'll throw the flyer up here. Anything it's else? Shout out, Shout out, Ghost. Um, Happy yeah. birthday. Probably. Are we going? Sun Sunday? Oh, oh, it's awesome. early. I'm not gonna go unless isn't I. There, uh, isn't there some Saturday night too? Yeah, but we're that's a private Sunday. event. I don't know. We can't talk about this on camera. Anyway, uh, <laughs> kicking it off, we got Nike Air. Uh, you fucked Ni up. Nike Air, more up tempo. Uh, white. What is that? Iridescent metallic. Uh, it's like a this carbon is, fiber gray. It's just kind of fire. I'm not they look good. Mean, it's I a like great color. Yeah. I don't wear those. I'm not mad at that at all. I see fire. these in person. You know they don't come GS, so. They might. I'm going to apologize for the pictures ahead of time because I didn't do the whatever. Like uh, next up, we got the Nike Air Force One High Gore-Tex. Uh, there are quite a few Gore-Tex this weekend. This is the only high, though. Uh, no, thank you. The lows are better. I mean, have I, the off-white. Uh, I appreciate it, what they're I doing here. I definitely see the off-white. I'm going to keep saying it every week, though, because it's true. Time. It's Not real. Not every time you say it, it's true. But. Look, it, they put Gore-Tex in the bow, the letters on the side. It's also part of the 10th collection, too. Huh. It is? Yeah. Look so at that. It, it, I mean, you can't, you got to zoom in. It's really blurry, but you can see it. It says the 10th on the upper part of the ankle area. Oh, uh, they do another 10th collection. I mean, it, it's cool. I mean, nah. if, if listen, if you like Air Force, you like the boot style, then fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You think if Virgil dropped this, it would have been hectic for this? Oh, uh, it was sold out. Yeah, but I it was sold out. Yeah. Even, it has like an ambush feel to it, it too. Like out. that sock up upper, the, the Yoon ambush, they did that, um, that boot shit. I mean, whatever. I, I can see the inspiration behind this. That's why Nike is in control here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, next up, Nike Air Kyrie Force? Low. No. Vortex? Nike Kyrie Low 2. Yes. Oh, oh, there's two colors. Fuck. Oh, time out, time out, time out. Uh, so you got you got two colors in the in the Gore-Tex. I'm all fucked up on my uh, my list here. White and black. This is white and black. Uh, looks like let me make sure there's no other ones. Yeah, so white and black and... The black's better. And a green. And there is a green. There is a green. The green Olive? Is, the green, Ooh. The green is gross. The green got to go. That thing is hideous. That you, is you nice. can really see all the details. The black on the one green. is the best one. That's an ugly sneaker. The black one is the best one because you can barely see what's, what's <laughs> going on. I think the white one's the best one, truthfully. It's clean. It's yeah, a good it's, photo it, of the white one. It's just clean. It's a good the photo. White one. Anyway, uh, I'm just going to finish it up so I can round it out because I know where I'm at. Uh, the Nike Kyrie 2 Low. 
in this sunburst kind of feel. Good colorway. I mean, it's Kyrie too. Good right. fuck. Shout out to Kyrie. Uh, Go next, Brooklyn. Next, you got the the Nike Kobe AD next in this very off white inspired uh, tooling. I guess you could say tooling. Yeah, the way they the way they make the shoe. Uh, and then they, there was also I didn't put the picture in here, but there's like a Serena '97 version. Of this also, or blazer, 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 blazer. I'm so sorry. The color is nice, then, huh? Yeah. Does so it look good on? It's it? the same exact colors as the blazer. Does it look good on this silhouette? No, 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 no. Because the silhouette look like Robocop's boot. No, no, all right. Shout out to Nike for fucking up shit. Nomni, 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 no. Uh, Nike Kobe, no, no. Nike KD12 in this cove color. I like the color. Don't like the shoe. No, I wouldn't say cove. What? Aqua? Nah. Trash. Moving on. The Nike PG3 ACG. That's a nice colorway. It's a horrible sneaker, though. <laughs> nice colorway. The navy with the pink. That's yeah. A good one. Then you got all these uh, Gore-Tex. These Nike Air Force One uh, lows. It's three of them. You got the black with the gum. You got the tan with the gum. And you got the olive oh. with the gum. And you got the yellow with the black. Oh, boy. It's faux. <laughs> it's fee fi fo fo these motherfuckers. It's fo uh, fo. <laughs> Olive one is fire and the tan one. These are these are nice. If you I like the them, black one. I like the black one. Yeah, the black one. You I show them in hand. Fire. Yeah, really? yeah, Actually, yeah. really nice. So it's like canvas. Canvas Gore-Tex or what is it? Yo, it's it's canvas Gore-Tex. Okay. What do you what are you saying? You have off white. Yeah, but I can't wear the off white in this fucking snow. You know what I'm saying? Like these yeah. these you could wear. I mean, and you don't really gotta worry about. Yeah, you beat the shit out of these things. I mean, 150 bucks. The black one, you're gonna get the, the most for your money out of that one. Yeah. Uh, next the yellow up. pair is cool. KB, anything? With the, the, the four? The Which one's yeah. All right. Green. Shanghai. What green? I don't oh. see no green. I see olive. Shanghai. Shanghai. You ready? Action. Go ahead, KB, take it away. No. Like your Air Force <laughs> One. Uh, low Shibuya, uh, Shanghai. What is it, Shanghai too, or just Shibuya? <laughs> Retail for hundred dollars. You got a black <laughs> pair and you got a white pair. The black pair is the better one of the duo. Anybody? Uh, it's clean. The, the, so we'll talk about These it. Pictures the pictures aren't good. Don't though. worry about it. The pictures that he's looking at, they look much better. The shoes. It's the ones from like, uh, what's it called? Yeah, yeah, the from white Sneaker ones News. are fire. Uh, listen, I, I get it. I like it. We'll talk about our NAFTA thoughts, what Nike's doing. Uh, but let's move along to the next shoe. Nike Air Max 720 Horizon 11 one. I don't know, man. You got three colors. It's too much for me. It's like Bofin 2.0. I feel like I'm walking on the clouds. Yeah, but it's weathered. So, like, they're giving you a weather thing for Air Max 720. I, I just don't. I, I went through this last year with the 720. Like you can't walk in I snow. I hate 720s. So unless they change that grip on the outsole of the bubble, you're fucked. Too much bubble for me. Too much bubble. Yeah, that's the hashtag this week. Too, too much, much bubble. bubble. <laughs> Never enough bubble. You know what I'm saying? Uh, right. <laughs> next up. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Star Wars Adidas Crazy One Sith Order. Wow, trash. I mean, I don't like that. I don't like that they did this to Star Wars number one, number two. All these shoes are fucking trash. And then Star Wars Adidas Don issue lightsaber trash. Uh, Don issue lightsaber. And then Star Wars Hardened Volume Harden Four lightsaber trash. That colorway is the best one. But, but yeah, but the Hardened Four is fucking dookie. And Adidas Dame Five lightsaber. Um, On a lighter note, Dame these look like shoes that would have came out like the year Star Wars actually released in like nineteen seventy four. They would have been wearing them in the fucking movie. <laughs> Uh, you also got Star Wars Adidas Pro Next 2019. Sure. Um, I I'm not gonna lie to you. It, it's just a whole bunch of gimmicky shit. I don't I don't see them being. I mean, maybe uh, it's not working. Adidas. I try, mean, I see the theme. Try something I do else. See the theme. I get it. I get it. But, but like, I would I wear those. I'd much rather it on fucking something that's applicable and you could wear. Like uh, uh, the this fuck? Adidas. Like uh, the next one coming up, Adidas Young One Trail. Yeah, that no colorway is nice. But they they used the young one for the fucking Vegeta and uh, Dragon Vegeta. Ball Z shit. <laughs> Why does everything have to be like that with you? <laughs> Shut up. I, don't, I don't understand. It's just always a joke. <laughs> it shows a joke to her. Oh, okay. Uh, next oh. up, Push It T and Call of Duty Adidas Oswego, titled Kingslayer. No, uh, no, good. no, 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 thank you. Big fat no. I don't, but like they don't put anything into it. Would they put a fucking skull on the on the lateral panel here? Put Pusha T's name on it, and then Kingslayer. Like, come on, man. 
Ah. What's going on with Adidas? Who did they lose recently? The, apparently everyone. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's like a whole... whole team just threw in the fucking towel. A whole 360, like, yeah. Wait, 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 do we want to do it in Oswego? Yeah, yeah, call Dewey and push your team. Just put the names on it and throw a skull. Yeah, Fuck how it. does that King come together yeah. at all? You killed the kill leader in the lobby. Good job. Chilling. You killed everybody's hopes and dreams of Adidas being somewhat decent. I don't know. Shout out to Adidas. I'm sorry, but Adidas has been slacking heavy on their themed collabos with shows and shit. Game of Thrones trash. Yeah, that wasn't good. Yeah, what was the one that? they did before that? The, all of them were true. Well, the, the Dragon Ball Z wasn't terrible. I don't remember them, so they probably were bad. No, they like all the boxes were like, it was like seven boxes. They made the Dragon Ball. Seven. The dragon was the side of the box. Have soup. They had the uh, the pink one. The Majin Buu was on oh, the... Oh, yeah, I remember that. The pink remember and the, yeah, the yeah, tan. Yeah. They had the... Uh, whatever. They Vegeta. were all the fucking... Whatever. Anyway, uh, next up we got Rock Rockman and uh, Asics Gel BND. Colors Fire. Colors the, Fire. The I, I thought it was Mega Man. I, I would actually uh, wear these. With the 8 bit? I, I could swear I saw I, a post I and it was Mega. It definitely come in my size. Mega Man. And not Rockman? <laughs> Wait, what did you say? What? I can't say it out loud again. <laughs> Yo, there, there was a quite, tell you quite the typo. Can we, just, can we just blank it? I'll just say it. I, I, uh, the colorway is nice on these uh, Rockman and Asics Gel BNDs. Uh, I like the 8 bit right. illustration. I the really Colors Fire. Should have just dope. I hit Asics. Can't go wrong. It was Mega I mean, Man. You can't go wrong, but the Thor Fire. No, 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 no. Rock Man. Is no, no, no. Take it's the Mega next Man. one, Tone. Yeah. What's the next one? I don't know. It's just horrible. It's your brand, though. Boo, New Balance. He's horrible for this but one. What happens if, they, if New Balance want to sponsor you and they said you can only wear New Balance for the rest of your life and they sent you stuff like that? You can wear 998s. I'm going to tell them, like, this shit is horrible. Send that to me again. <laughs> don't ever send me this ever send again. Send me the stuff that I actually like. In your don't mother to me. in don't life. Like Next up, New Balance, yeah, yeah. Hyro V5. The yellow one is pretty nice. The colorway is cool. He's but forcing that. Definitely forcing that. The silhouette can't do it. He's forcing it. I'm All not right. forcing it. The colorway is nice. The blue colorway is fire. It's a great colorway. It was I a can horrible. See, I can see people horrible, liking though. this shoe. It's a horrible silhouette. I can see people liking this shoe. It's a V5, so it's just not us. Just not anybody here. Next up, come on, keep moving. Let's get you. Let's get you. New Balance eight fifty AT retail and they. Why you get the retail, man? What's up? These, Yo, these balance, things are free. These. <laughs> no, these are no go for the ACG. Are, not for me. Hard, I mean, this is hard pass. This is not good at all. No, there's a nice color in the middle though. The burgundy with the teal and the pink. It's nice. Um, we move it on. It's Mega Man from Atrocity. There it is. Uh, oh. Under Armour Curry 7. Underrated. Uh, he just broke his hand, poor guy. Super know, underrated now. Yeah. Wait, he's lefty too, right? That was a left hand? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Was it his left hand? Oh, yeah, and then this dude fell on it. I don't know. It was a left hand. <sighs> Nike weird. Air Fear of God 1 Oatmeal. I mean, nice. These I are like nice. This. I like this color. This colorway 100%. Is, this colorway. I, I became a fan of this silhouette after I started seeing people wearing them and seeing them in person, how people style them and shit. They're mm -hmm. a pretty decent yeah, sneaker, but not for 350 I It's a little high. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. That's a luxury shit. 350 Uh We did this already. Uh, Nike Kyrie 5. Uh, keep it Hesu. You Keep Su fresh. <laughs> keep it Hesu. Keep it Hesu. Uh, <laughs> Retail for 140 <laughs> That's Sue. I got you. I got you. It's catching on. It's catching on. Retail for one forty. No, it's not uh, catching on. We just, he just was imitating you. It's catching on. It's catching on. Hashtag this week. Hashtag. No, hashtag this week is no. Bubbly? Well, nah. Not, you don't get it every week. You're out. Uh, next up, Adidas Yeezy five hundred soft vision. It should be a hashtag battle. Who makes the best hashtags? <clears throat> it's pink. Win anyway. Are you are you with the pink? I like it these. looks like a piggy. Word. Oh, yeah. Pink yeah. like a piggy. These are fire. I like them even more now. Oink, oink. I see them in person. It looks like it's all suede, right? With the mesh panels. It, it is definitely a more premium version. Uh, uh, more suede than anything on the upper. That gum bottom is a little iffy, though. Yeah, it's, it's like a light gum. It's too milky. It's yeah. creamy milk. Whoa, creamy milk. Slow the Creamy fuck gum. Down. Uh, ha. Are you done with this? It comes in a full family array also. Full family array. Family of piggies. Uh, overkill and Adidas ZX8000. No walls needed. These aren't bad. I, it, it, this is so basic, though. A very GR in line. Yeah, they, I mean, I like, I like, I like it. Blue soul. I like it. I just it. don't need it. I like the Retail's blue. 260. I, like it. Oh, it's for <clears throat> uh, I mean, that's a lot of money. Maybe that's the whole pack. <laughs> Fuck it. 
two sixty. No wars neither. Fuck you that. You are bugging. But the eight thousand. Uh, that's archival shit. Eh, whatever. Anyway. BBC Reebok. <clears throat> they got a uh, what is it? Four, three, three silhouettes. They got the BB four sixty six hundred, and they got the uh, Reebok BB four six hundred high, and they got the answer five. No, no, low. The low is not bad. The low is not see bad. Them. I gotta see them in person. The low is not bad. That yellow joint is kind of fire. Not gonna hold you. Yeah. I like it. You don't like the yellow? You're not even looking at it. Jesus Christ, this one. What the KB, KB's just here. Jesus Christ. We're she's here. Not, she's not even in the show. We're here. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Is it Pierre or Pyre? Pierre Moss? Pierre Moss? I don't know. Who is uh, that guy? Could you roll to the guy's fucking name so you can fucking help me out here? Oh. Fuck! I don't know, man. I'm not from London. So uh, I don't feel he's like from that. London. Uh, Pyre Moss or Pierre Moss? Uh, he's a designer. Yes. Well, with he... that name, he's definitely not from the United States. I hate all you guys. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you saw this during Fashion Week in New York. Uh, man, not his, bad. His show uh, in Brooklyn brought mad people out there. Uh, the kid Caleb from Stranger Things had like a couple of dope fits on. Uh, shout out to Priscilla Styles um, over at Reebok. I mean, it's not really for me. Eh. It oh, kind of reminds good. me of the. I like it. Concepts made the Versace looking joint. You can't go wrong with a black base. You they're, see that? They're called. They're called what? What are these called? The Reebok of Fusion. No, no, no. Oh, the the ones. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the ones that. Slip on joints that they for. always do. The ones that people they, didn't they do a collab. Insta Pump Fury. Yes. Yeah, that's what I said. Exactly. Is that? Oh, well, it's Trail Fury, so it's a little bit more. It, I mean. Hell, like the it. color's not terrible. I like it. The clothing line that goes with this is actually a lot more fire than the footwear. I'm not really big on the footwear, but anyway. This is something that Mega Man will wear on the weekend. Mega huh. Man? <laughs> huh. In Matrocity? That's where he's Should from? the hashtag yeah. be Mega Man? It's, it's in Matrocity. No, it can't be. Uh, <laughs> next up, you got Air Jordan 1 Retro OG High uh, Fearless. Fire. This is a really good photo. Fuck. These are... Shut up. These are, these are fire. The lacing is horrible. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't you dare. Took me a lot of work to get that lace job done. I would never do that. I'll well, keep it white laces. The, the problem is, like, they come with four pairs of laces, and I, I like want the to wet display look. it. Oh. You know? The wet look works. What wet look? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the wet look. <laughs> but the sneaker is fire. But white laces all day. What? The whole shit Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, very nice. It's it's well, I understand what you're saying. It's good. Yes, I, yes, very nice. Very, uh, the floor looks slippery. It's good. It's, it's nice. good. It's good. Mm. The sneaker look wet. It's okay, good. Okay, your turn, Tone. It looks moist. It's a very moist you, photo. You see, Are you happy? You there see, we go. Oh, That's what we were leaning for. Wait, there wait, there right there, Tone. See that? <laughs> what? Afterthoughts? Anyway, go ahead, KB, take it away. Chef, those. I'm going to restart it so I don't have to worry about it. Hurry up, hurry up, she's not here. Hurry up, hurry up. All right, afterthoughts! Afterthoughts. <laughs> uh, best drop of the weekend was a Shadow Backboard 3.0. No, it wasn't. It was none of the above at 48%. Coming in a strong 48. Runner up is a Shadow Backboard 3.0. I mean, oddly, I didn't, a lot of people like went out for the skeletons. I mean, they were sparse, hard to find, but like. They were limited. Yeah, a lot of they people went out for them. It wasn't expecting for people to be hype on them like that. The uh, white pair is better. We're going to touch on the, the regional exclusivity that Nike's been, uh, in, not enforcing, but like really doing a lot more of lately, which They're I prefer. They're bringing it back. They're bringing it back. Yeah, well, uh, bring like, it This back. is what they used to do with the Air Force ones back in the day. I mean, overall, they did this, though. Like, with a lot of different styles, they did uh, regional exclusivity. Yeah. Oh. I just remember the Air Force ones that oh. was around me. But you're a little old. You're like 10 more years over me, right? Yeah, 40. Well, that's fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can't tell. There's mad gray in my beard right now. I, I do me it too. every, uh, every too. Thursday. Um, this paint. Huh. You got to see me in the weekend. I don't want to do that. Um, yeah, yeah, but they're bringing back the exclusive. I think it's dope. It's fire. This one is fire. But I'm upset that I can't get it. I mean, make some friends, man. I don't know. And the resale is going to be crazy. Overrated. Like when it's too much, the, the material gets scuffed and shit, and it's hard to clean. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking Cause about? Because I have sock in you that were gold patent leather in the front, those and they're black suede in the back. I forgot what color they were. You're talking about scuffing on the, on the metallic. Oh, I know which ones you're talking about. You're talking metallic. about the gold metal pack. You're talking about the yeah, the, yeah. the Olympic metal the pack. The metallic got rose scuffed, gold, and that was the it. silver, and then, and then the gold. Off the but that was a cheap. Pack. That was a cheapy one. The bronze. Just probably the cheapy too, but. I think I still have them out here. I have them too. You know which one was really bad with the gold? Uh, the Gel Light 3s. 
Those y'all like threes? See, those two. Oh my god, I love those. Yeah, One person steps on you, the whole painting's gone. Yeah, yeah, but that was like a different. It wasn't a patent leather. It, it was, was weird. Like, it was very. It was smooth. painted smooth. leather. It was smooth. It was painted yeah, leather. Yeah, it was. It was very weird. Um, but I like. I like the coloring. I just didn't like how badly it took it abuse. Great in pictures, though. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Uh-huh. Shout out to A Six and Ronnie back in the day. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Bring back A-Six. TBT. Um, next up, you got um with this guy what was it, Teddy Ami? Santis teasing a uh, possible next New Balance collaboration 990 V2 what's the name of the store Ame 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 the Ame 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 Leon Dior Ame I don't know but Ame Jackets Fire Ame 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 Jack, we're not here for the jack, we're here for I the know. sneaker. Cool. <laughs> we're here for all the shit on the feet. Jacket. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Granny for being extra stylish. The okay. sweater is crack. Yeah, fire. With the sneakers. I don't like that. That's a must have. I oh, oh it is. It's it's a, it's actually a hoodie underneath a crew neck. Yeah. Crew neck fire. Don't know about the hoodie yet. Um also I like the fact that she went real save the planet with the bag. <sighs> she almost looks like Joe Pesci in uh I don't know, but that Mark advertising is a fucking A plus. That what? He's fucking he killed that shoe. Oh oh yeah, we're we're fucking A plus for creativity. Uh, I'm gonna run into what shoe? This one? Yeah, his marketing. Look, you put he got an old lady dressed a man. A life in balance. And like. But what was the fire? What was the story behind the sneaker? They didn't drop any info yet. Uh, I know. It's speculation. It's just a great photo. It's just styled and everything. It's nice. Uh, It's not really speculation. It says New Balance and uh, yeah, it's not speculations. We know it's coming out. Okay, so next up we got uh, we got a question from the viewer, but I also was going to talk about it anyway, so I threw it in there. Chester Cogsworth, ten hours ago uh, yesterday, as a matter of fact. Hashtag fun to touch. Sean Wortherspoon teased a shot of some Gel Light Threes he and Atmos have come together on. Considering Sean Wortherspoon was a rising star at Nike, what do you make of this move for both he and Asics? I like it. A rising star. Th- I'm happy that somebody else picked him up. The door, but, uh, He's very creative. I think he was gonna he was gonna do something regardless. I like. Uh, I, I think that I, I think we kind of spoke on the bad blood or the. The turnaround at Nike it's and a gel why? Three, so it's gonna be fire. Yeah, Velcro. It's the first time Asics has ever done Velcro on a sneaker, uh, to my knowledge at least. Um, I like the fact that you're gonna be able to pull pieces off and put them where you want. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. There might be different color be panels. Bulky, like, you might make your own colorway. They never did a corduroy shoe before, so I don't know. How so all these panels are gonna be interchangeable with different colors that come in the set. Yeah, you think it's gonna come with like a whole bunch of like different? Psh, yeah, so why not? Ronnie's New Balance. Things. That could be fun. yeah, but I mean like this, this is gonna this be is a lot fire. Of panels, like, cause, like I want a pair. The whole Asics logo. You That's can it. flip it. Yeah, it's gonna look different on the shoe. Fire. I need them because like you see it like I put the two pictures. One's pulled up. They're definitely fire. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's cool. It's a great it's a great idea. I don't know if I like Sean Wortherspoon. I don't know if I give a fuck. Uh, you guys ninety sevens about him enough to what? You don't have a ninety seven? I do, but like what? I don't. What does that have to do with anything? You don't like these? I I I don't know if it needed to be Sean Wortherspoon. You know what I'm saying? You think Atmos could have did this on the road? Absolutely, one hundred fucking percent. One, but they could have. It could have been anybody. It could have been Tom, Dick, and Harry. I don't care. But nobody did. Sean did. That's what matters. <sighs> Shout out to Sean. He's doing <sighs> his thing. Uh, Not shout out to Sean. Shout out to these. Asians. I mean, but like he is. I, I, I hate to say that he is uh, corduroy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to say he, that he that's He brought it shit. to the mainstream crowd what? right now. I don't want to say that that's No, that's not true. There was corduroy. I've, I've seen... I'm we're about not to talking about you. Like, people don't know what's in your closet. They know what the fuck he put on a shoe. Like, yeah, but there's other shoes that have corduroy on. He's not the first person to do I, it. And I'm saying, I'm not trying to say it's his thing. But if you're doing a shoe with a different company, go with a different quality or go with a different style. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, in my mind, what I'm seeing is you didn't have much else. The corduroy struck for you at Nike, so you're going to go to Asics and do the same thing. But a lot of other designers do that. Jeff Staple did it with his Staple uh, Pigeon. He put on New Balance. He put it on Nike. He put it yeah, on he switched, Puma. He switched it up enough, though. But the same colorway. Yeah, but, but that... Okay, so, like, I view Staple as a colorway, whereas this is a material. Do you get what I'm saying? Let's, and it's basically, same creative. the same thing he did with the corduroy it's not on, the same color though. It's on not 97s, cool. like it was, it was an array of colors. But the original one was was the navy. It was uh, was like a whole bunch of hues of blue. I'm I do getting like that the colorway though. Yeah, I, I like whatever. This is nice. Maybe I'm just being cynical about it, but I like the shoe. I don't like him, but I like the shoe. Why nobody likes him? It's not that I don't. I don't know him not to not like him. Yeah, KB, why you don't like him? Just things that I've heard about him. And... Just rumors. 
I mean, I don't think that would. I mean, I mean, you can go by basically like even when he had his his ninety seven. Like, he put voting boots in all of his stores. So, like, he had an upper hand on everybody as it was. Like, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I realize you... There was other shoes that were really nice. Like, I, really I thought loved. so. I, I thought there were there were shoes that were more fire than that 97. Me too. So, but, like, because he had more popularity and he used that to, like... And, and I realize you have to at some point. But, you know, at the same time... Like, I guess, I like I said, you have to be pushy. And... An honor system at some point. Fucking show some honor. Fuck it. Anyway. Uh, you want to take the first view or the second viewer comment? Shout out. Chester Lister Solomon, come to touch. We hear. I recently caught the Ronnie Feig inter- bike, interviewing for Wear News. In the interview, he says, Kith is not a streetwear brand. Kith is the worst fucking name to give anything. Streetwear. Break street up the wear. term street and wear, which is product that is worn in the street. Then sure, it's streetwear. But then every brand is streetwear because everybody's wearing the product in the street. I sort of get of, I sort of get of what point his of view. point of view was. In that streetwear is too general or broad, edit, limiting, confining, <clears throat> to define what he wants his brand to be. But I don't mm-hmm. think it's the worst name you can give. What are your thoughts on this statement and interview as a whole? In general, I'm still a big Kith Ronnie supporter, though I haven't copped much lately. You're... I You're... I haven't shit lately either. But damn, Less you up. said that. I didn't see this interview. Yeah, streetwear is the yeah, worst I didn't get to see it either. I didn't know he did that. I, so, like, Kit, he's been saying for, like, the longest time that he doesn't know what his brand is going to be. He might say, in five years, there was an interview from, like, three or four years ago where he was like, I might do tailored suits at some point. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be classified as anything, which is why I think his collaboration game is through the roof. It's because you're touching into all these different worlds. Mm-hmm. But that could also be a statement to him wanting to touch all these different worlds and not be classified. Like, there's two ways to look at that. There's the glass half empty, half full kind of deal. You know what I'm saying? He's a creative. He doesn't want to be put in a bottle or in this niche of streetwear. So he's out doing different things. I I get that. Forever involving and progressing. That's what I think he's doing, which is fine. So let's stay on topic here for a second. So streetwear is the worst fucking name to give anything. But, like, high fashion is become... Streetwear. And streetwear is they've like they've it. tailored their style and their branding and their merchandising to be more street. So what's so terrible about it is my main question. And streetwear like, is definitely hoodies and sweatpants and shit like that. Like street, I, but but at this point, streetwear can be anything. Anything. It's it really like coat more to coat could be streetwear. Yeah, like I mean, like I wouldn't consider that street. That 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 fit you just saw those nine ninety V two. That's streetwear. That's streetwear now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that they, that they mixed it up with a hoodie. That's merging it. Slacks, advertising. Slacks advertising. at three quarters with a high dress sock and fucking dress shoes with suspenders and a dress shirt is now streetwear. You know what I'm saying? Like, I th- there's there's a wide array that's cast through that fucking title, which I get. Nobody wants to be classified under because it's like, what are you really if you're streetwear? But he is a streetwear brand. I think it's kind of messed up that he said he's not. You gotta listen to the people, people that's buying this shit. And, and at the end of the day, like I the the last part of that where like in generally like being a kid, I'm honestly like I love kids. But it, nothing out As that they're making right now is for me. Lord. Like nothing that, that he's even striving to do is stuff that's, that's for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some t-shirt okay. pieces. Uh, some of the pieces, like, I'm like, damn, that's fire. But like, am I going to wear that? Like they just dropped the Vogue today, right? Vogue, I was looking for, I want to get a new Kith Bomber. Of course, like I want to get a new, uh, they're doing Russell this time. It's not Golden Bear, which is perfectly fine. They just did the... Def Jam thing that you went to. That was they had the jacket as well. But like... Oh, that jacket is fucking fire. The jacket's fire, but I, I would like something, a Kith classic. And I say this all the fucking time. Like, you still have that jacket? Give me Kith classics. Like, fucking New York Natives isn't going to come back, but you can still do the Kith just decay on the jacket. No, basic the shit that you can wear. New York shit is fire. I'm about to go bust it out. Today. If you if, if you brought back that New York Natives and that cream Ooh, and orange color that I should have fucking bought back then, like, Friday, fire. Where you at? That, that's he's like... Not, he's not the one designer. We know this. Yeah, but regardless of, like, who's designing, like, at some point, like, even the classics that he that he is putting out, he's putting out, like, the three-pack tees, Kith Classics. Like, he just put out a Kith Classics two weeks ago, and it was basically, like, rebranded Kith stuff, but not the old logo. It's the new logo and the new style that he's been doing things. So is it really a classic? Like, yeah. He's trying to make it a classic by calling it a classic. By calling it a classic, classic doesn't make it classic. People, people, th- but that's, like, how ignorant... Some of the people buying this shit really are because they hear classic and they're like, "Oh, this shit is this is the original shit that he was no, doing." I'll show you some original. And they're shit. buying it just because you know what I'm saying. Like, and this is not to throw dirt on anybody like in the store because I fuck with a lot of people that work in the store and in the stores. But like, I'll wear old shit and they're like, "Oh, 
where'd those come from? And I'm like, you motherfuckers don't even know, like, Shit. your brand. Mm-hmm. Like, and, like, it's not their fault because nobody's educating them. But at the same time, like, how... If you... If you Ronnie has always been trying to get away from, like, who he was in the past. I don't know about all that. Eh, whatever. I mean, I'm not... I don't want to delve into Ronnie Hour here. All right. Shout out to Ronnie and Kiff. Yeah. Hey, Tone. Ha ha! Hey, <laughs> Molly Ma, two days to go. the last one. Hashtag fun to touch with Parker out in January and an uh, emphasis on the digital platform. Do you think inventory gets reduced across the board in retail? Some shops seeming, seemingly would be obsolete. But what, what about bigger boutiques, brick and mortar, i.e. KIF, social status, wish ATL, etc.? They're not suffering at all. <laughs> I mean, there's a high... The way that they have it set up with these boutiques now is that, like, they get a majority of the inventory. One, because they're tier zero accounts. Uh, Two, because they want to draw foot traffic to those locations because they want the feedback and they want to make it seem like shit is touchable in the streets outside of foot lockers. Because if you're not selling it in a foot locker, you have to put it in a boutique, like, especially for tier zero accounts. Like, they're spending top dollar as well. They're not spending as much as foot lockers, but they're spending a lot of money. Uh, I don't think they're ever going to pull numbers on that. They might actually give them even more, just because it's a digital platform now. Okay, next. They probably get more pairs oh, than we really I know. Thought, I thought maybe you guys had some statements. No, I don't really care. Huh. Huh. I just said this kid's not going to suffer. Anyway, uh, yeah. Hater Extraordinare. Uh, five days ago, hashtag fun to touch. Thoughts on the last two Saucony collabs? I personally thought both of them could pass for some high-quality GRs. Uh, thought the 24 Kalatis was going to do something better. They were cool. They were good. Well, I didn't get to see them in person, so I can't really judge them. I only seen them in photos. Yeah. Where do they sell them? Yeah. I, so, like, I, I, that's the other thing that, like, I have a qualm with right now. Uh, Saucony, even though, like, it's you know, Saucony is, like, international, they have done the Bignette, uh, yeah, Café du Monde. From uh, Sneaker Politics. Yeah, Café du Monde. They did uh, Bignette. They oh. were unaccessible. Hey. Uh, they did the Sneaker Politics that just uh, dropped unaccessible. Like, it's... It's very difficult to touch their shit. And I explained this a long time ago, uh, probably like earlier this year, about Saucony and like their 1,300 pairs. Like everything they do is limited even on their GR run. So like realistically, like when you do a collab like that, it's probably half that. So maybe you're getting 500 pairs. Maybe they're doing 1,200, but 1,200 still isn't a lot. I don't give a fuck what you say. If you made $1,200 this week, guess what? You spent it on bills, you're done already. Like think about 1,200 pairs to a community that loves fucking runners. Like you're fucked. So... Uh, the accessibility thing has got me, but the quality looks like they, they've really turned... Like, I've been to a focus group. She's been to a focus group. we got to get you to one sooner or later. But, like, their quality is, is fantastic. Yeah, Fan fucking tastic. Like, and for me to say that is an ode to Saucony. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but Bodega, I actually posted a story today. They got a, they have a collab coming out also. Saw it in person. Fucking fire. The pictures they took, fucking fire. Actually, actual Butter has one coming out too. Yes, they do. But like, it doesn't look so good. I didn't see the uh, the actual imagery of this shit. Where'd you see it? Uh, internet. Huh. huh. You're on that thing? Sometimes. Yeah, when you want to be. All right. Um, I don't know. I, I like. I like. I like what they're doing. Just it's hard to attain. And I'm not mad if a shoe looks like it's gr and super quality. Like I'm not mad at that at all. But what if it's not super quality? If it's just like gr quality and the colorways quality and it's a fucking collab. That's I don't know, respectful. I feel like they have to do something extra now because they're so far. Because they're playing now. catch up, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like, they gotta go above and beyond. For the like, creative. what they're doing now, they should have been doing the whole time, so now they need to take it another step to come back to people and be like, oh, wow, so I'm gonna fuck with Saucony now again. You know what I'm saying? Like, people don't give a fuck. I think there's traditionalists, though. <clears throat> I mean, but there's not new... I, w- I still want to see these uh, 24 Kalatis in person. They were a great shoe. They I, look I, great. I, I agree. But... Can't hey. get them. Huh. Most stores out here drop them, so. You guys got anything else? Nope. Nope. Any, any coverage? Nope. In the news this oh, week? Oh, shout out to Mike from OG Vandala. Fucking. Oh, yeah, shout out. Shout yeah. out OG. I got to shoot some content for that. Super dope. Thank you for the stuff. He's like the most humble, coolest. Shout out to Wes for the introduction as well. Yeah, it only took like six years. But... So you got to do that. Um, what's going on? A lot of people ask about those pants you're wearing last week, Chief, including myself. Sure. Oh, I asked it in the comments. Yeah, but you check the comments. Stuff it's back there. Still haven't answered me. You know where it's from. I know where no, it's from, no, but are you gonna put the them on a fucking point. shelf? Huh? The price point we're not we hasn't determined that. No, are you gonna sell them is the question. 
We're thinking about it. This is fucking ridiculous. Good point, bro. Mad. Mm, I'm annoyed now. All, All right. right. Secret battle winner. Who else would it be other than Dole? We're going to talk I about this. I wore Paris Bespokes. 75 Those pairs. are bespoke? I didn't know that. Paris bespoke. We're, we're going we're gonna to talk about and this. 50 pairs made. This show is supposed to be Dole. about, you know, pairs. runners and things you appreciate, whether new, new runners. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you don't have to vote for me. I don't really give a fuck. But like, it's just funny that like, you guys got to break it up a little bit. He wears the same pairs like three times. Oh, like, oh, 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 oh. Whenever we. It's a good shoe. It's a good shoe. All right, cool. Tone, you're the winner. You go first. Are you Ooh. gonna get the fuck up or what? I was waiting for the hate to stop. Oh wow. No hate. I said you're the fucking. They love you. Salty. Salty. Come on, let's go. What's the fuck? The hashtag today. <laughs> I got my rain shoes on. Try, try not to yell Too when you get over there. The, the mic. I hope you guys enjoy the fucking mic. Too much trouble. Turn the fucking mic up. I got my rain shoes on, though. Don't, 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 don't vote for me. You're going to get these guys tight again. <laughs> vote for somebody else. Play fair, guys. I go last. I got second place for once. For once? You always get I'm second. not winning nothing. I, I lose quite a bit. Anyways. <laughs> what the fuck? 2017. Uh, Pendleton. You don't got to sell it. Designed by KB. Yo, where you going, Chief? Oh, yo, the inside of the shoe matches your shirt. That's why I wore this fucking shoe, you. bro. Good for you. See, so yeah, check it out. Check out the match. Check out the infamous chain, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, watch me flex. And I made these in 2017. I think I wore them. Yo, what year months. did you make those? 2017, you heard? Year. Tom Malone. Uh, I was actually out this morning, so I threw these on because it's raining. Not to be a dick, but yes, I do wear these in the rain. Uh, fragments. Um, okay. Fragmentation. Actually, I'm done going anywhere today. <laughs> Chilling. Uh, what's this week's hashtag, you son? Not enough hashtag? bubble. What? That's really what we're going with? That's what you want? No, what else? Would you guys have any other ideas? I had plenty of ideas, but you shot them all down for not enough bubbles, so I forgot them. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. They come in kid sizes. Hashtag. Uh, hashtag fun. Travis Scott's come in kid size. Hashtag Air nobody Force gives a fuck because that's not even this week. I know, but... Hashtag fun to touch if you... Oh, bro, you done? Are you done? Yes, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. Hashtag fun to touch. If you used that in the, hash, in the comment section last week, you got a shout out. Uh, this week's hashtag is going to be uh, oh, not enough the, bubble. No zippers, though. Yeah. Not enough bubble? Yeah. Bro, what's the hashtag? Not enough bubble. Hashtag not enough bubble. So, yes, yeah, very annoying. Um... <laughs> You use hashtag fun to touch. You got a shout out. Sh uh, kicking it off. We got Chester know, Cosworth. Lester, you're on YouTube. Dude. I don't know how. Uh, this, this, is, uh, this, this, this is what I work with. This is what I work with. Uh, I'm on YouTube. With very unprofessional. Uh, checking in. We got Chester Cogsworth, Lester Solomon, Michael Jenkins, Dr. Souls 11, Dropping, Molly Mall, Toxic uh, Cyclone, SB, Black Thunder, Sham Kitling, Hater Extraordinary. I'm changing your name up just for. Whatever. I'm um, Gucci, K22, shit. Uh, Alv2, Carlos R, Impalpable State, Earl Hunting, Tones Giblets, don't forget Saint Got Soul. Uh, who else? I feel like somebody else always comments and I'm not shouting them out right now. Uh, oh, 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 Brandon R. R. Martin. I did read your comment. I might actually throw it in next week, but shout out Brandon R. R. Martin also. Uh, we out of here? Yeah, we out. Uh, check out Showroom Boutique. It's in Bushwick. You got to do it at the beginning. 136 Irving. We here. Told my voice. In the beginning. K Black, the camp yeah. out. We out. Oh, hoodies are in. If you ordered a hoodie, by the way, they'll be going out Did you probably. Order uh, me one? Nope. My daughter. You got a paper, bro. You got you just like everybody else, my man. I'm still waiting for my shirts. Boop. I'm still.